What's up guys, welcome back to my channel once again and today in this new episode I am going to review a fragrance from the house of Paris Corner and the perfume is Ombre de Louis from the house of Paris Corner and this is a clone of or I can say an inspiration of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad or you can say Ombre Nomad. So this perfume is from their previous Zara luxury series. There are total four fragrances in this series. I have already made a review of Y which is a clone of YSLY. I will put a link here so you can go and check uh, if you want. So here in this episode we are going to review or we are going to talk about Ombre de Louis. Uh, first of all I would like to say thank you to Paris Corner for sending me these fragrances. I have told you before in my previous video that these fragrances are not purchased by me but uh, they have been received as a gift from Paris Corner. So thank you Paris Corner. So let's start with the presentation as always and you will get this perfume in this box. This is a silver color box and you will find a pattern here on the surface and then here you will find the name of the perfume Ombre de Louis and uh, previous Zara luxury series. Then you will find a notes breakdown here and nothing on the sides on the top you will find uh, previous Zara written once again and here in the back you will find some details like ingredients and cautions etc and then in the base you will find this barcode uh, with some minor details like the maid uh, and uh, batch code here so this was the box and now let me show you the bottle and here we go very beautiful luxury bottle these bottles are very high quality polished glass bottles and the clarity of the glass is amazing the design is very similar with their autobiography uh, bottles but the only difference is the size of the bottle and the cap the cap here is made of plastic it's very snugly fit you can carry the bottle with it uh, but that's not a good practice so i will say that you must avoid it otherwise the color of juice is amazing it's so dark and very deep the cap is made of plastic but the finish is so nice and here on the atomizer you will also find uh, the name written Paris Corner on the top and now let me show you the atomizer and here we go very nice atomizer and the fragrance is magical so this was about the bottle you will find nothing on the sides nothing in the bottom a thick glass base and clarity is outstanding the finish is outclass and then you will find the name written here uh, the same detail as the box very similar uh, same kind of sticker here at the front of the bottle so this was about the presentation and now uh, let's talk about the fragrance and as always we will start with the notes breakdown so in the notes you will get agarwood raspberry incense rose birch benzoin and Amberwood, saffron and geranium a lot of notes here but trust me wow this is wow just an amazing fragrance i'm in love with this fragrance from the last few weeks this is really a wonderful fragrance so this was about the notes breakdown and now i will try to explain you how this beautiful fragrance actually smells this opens with oud very strong oud but the oud used here is not that middle eastern kind of oud but it's that western kind of oud you will not get that full spectrum of oud in this fragrance uh, it's like a selective notes taken uh, by fractional distillation uh, removing that barnyardish aspects and removing uh, that pungent feel from it and they are just uh, using uh, some uh, selective notes what they want here this oud is you can say like slightly woody a very decent they make it more wearable when you smell it the first thing comes to your mind is like decency something very sober very decent so that kind of oud is here and with this oud you will get rose and incense rose is more prominent here incense is little bit in the back giving this perfume that smoky touch and then you will find that very beautiful magical raspberry raspberry is not very strong or prominent here but it's strong enough to give this perfume that touch of sourness that fruity sour feel 
uh, which is coming here with that raspberry raspberry is breaking that uh, woody strong feel and providing this perfume a very beautiful touch and then you will get some saffron here and saffron is giving this perfume uh, that sweet spicy touch and then you will get some birch uh, birch is not very prominent but doing its job very well and giving this perfume that leathery kind of feel this fragrance got a salty woody and leathery kind of feel and then i didn't uh, find a lot of benzoin here and in the total dry down this fragrance will become a little bit more woody because of the note of amber wood so this was about the fragrance very very sober decent having a rich feel this is going to boost your confidence and this fragrance is going to make you feel rich such an amazing and wonderful fragrance and now let's see how close is this to the original this is a little bit synthetic as compared to original but as compared to original otherwise this perfume does not smell cheap at all such an amazing quality same scent profile and in this price tag i don't know how these people are making such a beautiful fragrance this is totally unbelievable so this was about ombre de louis and now let's talk about performance performance wise i can tell you 12 plus hours of longevity projection is amazing it keep projecting for a very long time let me share my experience with you about the performance of this perfume i have sprayed this perfume at 9 a.m in the morning in my office and at 5 p.m a colleague of mine he came and uh, stands behind me uh, to see if the project is okay or if there is any changes to be done and at 5 p.m it means after eight hours of application he asked me which fragrance you are wearing is there oud in it and i told him yes it's an oud based fragrance and he asked me which one is this i showed him this bottle and he asked me from where he can buy this so this was about the performance and imagine if you can get a compliment after eight hours uh, it means that perfume is performing very well no complaint and you cannot get anything better than that so this was about the performance and now let's talk about gender this is a male dominant unisex perfume it's a unisex ladies they can also wear it but i think it's going to work a little bit better with men and if we talk about the age group this is strictly for mature and serious people so if you so if you think you are serious or mature enough or decent enough to wear this perfume go ahead of course you cannot be that sober or that decent in the age of 22 but i think if you are in the age of 24 25 and you are decent sober sophisticated enough uh, to rock it you can go ahead and if i talk about the season uh, i think you can wear it all year around for me it's okay i can wear it all year around but i think uh, the preferable uh, season or or weather will be cold so anytime cold in the evening or in uh, winters in autumn or in in spring you can rock it easily without any issue and now let's talk about uh, the occasion for the occasion i can say that any sober or decent kind of scenario this is going to work any place where you want to uh, tell people how decent how sophisticated you are you want to impress people by your decency to show them how well mannered you are if you're wearing a suit you're going to a very high class meeting a very high uh, profile kind of dinners you can rock it in fact you can wear this perfume wherever you want except i can say like if you're going for a beach party i don't think this will be a right choice for some like beach parties you if you're going on a beach if you're going on a picnic uh, i don't think this is going to work very well there or if you're going to any sports event if you're going to your gym if you are or if you're having a sports day or something i don't think it's going to work very well in that kind of scenario otherwise anywhere else you can rock it easily if you are going to uh, a very sophisticated decent wedding uh, you can wear it or this can be your wedding scent if it's your wedding uh, try it and i'm sure you are going to like it very much so this was about the occasion and now let's talk about the price and as i have told you before in my previous video that all these four fragrances in this pre-vezara luxury series they cost the same 
you will get this perfume in 80 ml quantity this is extract the perfume concentration and the price of this perfume is 45 dirham in uae i'm talking about uae dirhams you can convert it uh, by google into your own uh, local currency uh, but i think if you are uh, in Europe, US or India, you must consider uh, the logistic charges, the duties, the customs. So uh, prices may be different. Maybe uh, you have to pay a little bit extra to get these fragrances in all these countries. If you are in UAE, you can get these perfumes easily from uh, Paris Corner directly. I'm going to put their number in the description box. Uh, you guys can call them and order this and if you are in india you can easily get this perfume uh, from ashish Bhai. his website is fragaholic.in i'm also going to put uh, the link in the description box a very good service provider uh, dealing directly with paris corner and a lot of other middle eastern brands got very good positive feedback and the delivery is super fast so if you want it in india uh, you got ashish Bhai. in pakistan i think now uh, it's easy to get there a lot of people they are dealing with these scents so if you just uh, search on the google i'm sure uh, you will find uh, a seller there or otherwise you can go to pakistan fragrance community or a fragrance community pakistan uh, there are some uh, good sellers having a very good feedback so if you like oud based fragrances you should never miss this perfume so this was about ombre de louis previous luxury series i hope you like the review until the next video, take care and bye.